What's going on guys? Thank you guys for tuning in to 8 Connection TV. Subscribe, baby. Also, check out my two new channels, 8 Connection TV 2 and ACTV Games. When you go through those channels, subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell. What's going on world? It's your boy Wes from 8 Connection TV, the network that wants you on YouTube where we actually adopt similar connections despite our differences. And I am here recording live from my new home in Atlanta. I am now an Atlantean. All right, so for those of you that have been following me for a long time, you guys know that I've been I've been in pursuit of happiness, so to speak, um, and happiness in terms of doing what I love to do and getting paid for it, having that be my um, career, my my life career, as opposed to you know working a regular Monday nine to five, um, you know, especially at a job that I do not like, a job that I despise. I was doing that and I have been doing that for so long so it got to the point where I was just like okay fuck it try to do something else so that you can stop complaining about the life that you have and go for your dreams okay and so that is what my pursuit of happiness is kind of all about here moving to Atlanta as opposed to going straight to LA um, everyone always asks me what do you want to do with your life and I'm like as long as it has anything to do with entertainment, I'm good. So photography, acting, writing, um, you know, directing, producing, dancing, like creative collaborations, like I'm all there, that's all me, that's all that I love. And so, I'm here. And in the first week, I've gotten some things done. I've booked a full-time photography gig that starts Saturday. I just got finished doing a shoot with another model. That's an About Him season two. And um, yeah, all I need to do now is act or at least get into some things. So um, a buddy of mine is gonna do some headshots for your boy. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to make it happen. So if you guys know of any models that wanna get photographed, uh, you know, if you guys, know of any projects or know of anybody that are doing projects that need actors or extras, hit your boy up, let me know. Um, adopt that connection at gmail.com. Information will be right below. But I wanted to do this video because I think it's about time that we celebrate. Celebrate Lee Daniels and every creative human being that has anything to do with Star. Star is my new favorite show now and the reason it has become call my new favorite show is because Star has evolved as a human being. Um, she's no longer uh, a self-absorbed, egotistical brat that just does mean things to people just because she just wants to be mean. Now she has a purpose. Now she has depth. She's 3D, she's not flat, she's round, she's not square, you know? And I'm loving it. I'm loving her emotional connection with Simone, I'm loving her friendship connection with Alex, I'm loving their connection and her protection, kind of, with Hayil at the end. Like, she seems real to me now and authentic and I definitely love this star versus the star that we saw in the first six, seven episodes. Um, because that particular star I just couldn't vibe with and I know you guys saw me on Instagram like completely in disgust by her um, I mean the actress does a phenomenal job but I just did not like stars so let's talk about Showtime so we know that the girl that can't really speak English is the part of the group now I know I'm not the only one that hates this but um, yeah it's something that we have to live with and it's all about the Spanish flair okay well I mean yeah at least have her sound like appropriate when she's singing like I mean I don't want subtitles to come across my screen every time sh her verse comes up at least that's what I'm feeling because that's what I was getting you know what I'm saying and so for me it's like yeah I'm an equal opportunity employer but I need to understand what's coming out of her mouth and I'm on team star because obviously we know that Hayil and Eva are playing the girls and we know that Simone knows and so we 
I'm I'm just a little bit I, I don't care about Ava. I don't I really don't. And you know, I'm the type of person that if you finagle or mislead or lie to get your way on a show, I'm not really on your side. Sort of sort of along the lines with what happened to Cotton. I mean, grand theft. I'm not on your side so you can get your surgery done. That's not important to me. You know what I'm saying? It, it's a non-factor because of the way you've obtained it. So I'm all the way here, okay, for the girls not wanting Ava a part of the group. So, I mean, it is what it is. There are a lot of secrets amongst the cast members. I mean, Derek is probably going to be paralyzed for the rest of his life, and he doesn't tell Alex. Alex is pregnant, and she doesn't want to tell Derek. And, you know, Star is getting beat up by Hunter. And she doesn't want to tell Simone, and she doesn't want to tell anyone, actually. And she doesn't tell anyone, actually. She tries to give Hunter another chance. And, you know, all of the time when I've seen these particular situations um, happen in real life, and I've seen these situations happen on the shows, like TV shows and the movies, the guy always reverts backward. He never moves forward in a positive direction. He always reverts backward, and he continues beating the female up. So, I mean, why is Star caring about this guy? Why is Star giving him a shot? Where is Star? Because the rude, egotistical, crazy, self-absorbed chick that existed in the beginning of the season would never allow for a man to beat up on her. So what's happening, Star? What's going on? And that's the message that Hayo gives Star, which is the message that she, she really needed because we needed the old Star to come back in terms of destroying opposition, right? Cotton steals the money from the Asian when she finds out that the Asian has been shocked up with a chick. And a real chick, it seems. And so Cotton feels some sort of way about that. Says that she needs to go get her thong from the room and steals the Asian's checkbook. Really not a cool situation, Cotton. Not cool at all. Big Boy, apparently at this point, it seems like Big Boy would be the person to set Hayo up, but how would Hayo know? How would Big Boy know about the murder? Really, Wes? Right, duh. I don't think that that's possible. Shout out to Sean Bankhead for being the choreographer on this particular episode, and I'm sure many of many uh, episodes of Star. Sean Bankhead is a very talented choreographer. I've always, always loved and appreciated and admired his work. So shout out to this man for getting tons and tons and tons and tons of work. At this particular point, Hayel jumps in and sees, you know, in mid-rehearsal, Big Boy with the girls. And he's lost. He doesn't understand why Big Boy is here. And it's at this moment where we find out that Ava is the one that sidejacked Hayel. Of course, it only makes sense because Ava is the one that was there when the whole situation with Otis occurred. But Miss Star peeps game and he goes, she goes after Hayel to reassure him that she had nothing to do with ratting him out to the cops. And she says, point blank, I mean, you know where I'm from. We don't believe in snitching. Why would we do that? I'm going to need you to get your head in the game. I'm going to need you to check your broad, Ava. That's what you need to do. Hayo confronts Ava, Ba'ava, Ba'iva, Ba'ba, Ba'ba, y'all know who I'm talking about, Ava. And she denies it. But then when he leaves the house, she laughs and says, oh, he's stupid. Simone gets it out of Star that Hunter is the one that punched her, and that's how she has the bruise. Star then goes to say, well, I have to go to Hunter's house to get the rest of the outfit. Simone's like, no, 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 you can't go. What's wrong with you? That's dumb. What if he does something again? And then Star is like, I want him to try. She grabs a crowbar. She walks out the house. And I'm like, okay, okay, go ahead, you bad chick. You go ahead, girl. I can't wait to see what's going to happen because Star about to dig in that ass. That's what I'm thinking, right? That's what's going on in my mind. Carlotta then goes to visit Simone's foster mom and gets a confession out of her for killing Otis because apparently Simone was the brick wall to her children in defense of Otis. And when Simone left, Otis went after her and her kids. So then she then decides to follow up after Otis to make sure that he never comes back to harm her kids. And so she is the one that kills Otis. I liked this particular twist. 
It was different. It wasn't expected. It really wasn't expected at all because we hadn't seen her in, until like the first episode or whatever. So that was really, really cool and big of Carlotta to think about that particular situation when she goes to visit her and records the whole conversation. Boss move. Star goes to visit Hunter and Hunter comes out crying like a punk. Oh, baby, baby. Oh, baby. I'm glad you came back. I'm glad you came back. He sees the crowbar and he's like, oh, wait a minute now. Baby, 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 I love you. I love you. Just wait a minute now. Wait a minute. And she's like, step one, step forward. Okay? And I will end. Your walls will be the inside of your skull. Some shit she said. You know, Star is always quick with these one-liners. And I'm like, okay. But then again, I'm thinking to myself, how fast and how strong is she going to swing that crowbar before this mammoth of a muscle dude attacks her? I didn't really think that she would... I don't know. I didn't think that she was going to be successful. Alex and Derek talks at the hospital. And for some reason, it always aggravates me when people lie on TV. When people lie in the movies. And I'm the one that's... And maybe you guys are too. But I'm the one that's like, tell him! Just tell him! Or just tell her! Just tell her! Just tell her! You know what I'm saying? Because it makes no sense for you to lie. The longer you hold on to the lie, then we have to see her cry and all this shit. And quite frankly, I don't want to see Alex cry. I'm a big fan of Alex. I love Alex. I think Alex is the best girl out of the show. I mean, just her character, not the actress, but her character. You know, because her character is just so freaking cool. I just love her. And you know, Derek's sitting here lying to her and I'm pissed at Derek. I mean, yeah, I, that's why you deserve to be paralyzed. That's how I feel. But they want to keep the baby and I'm thinking it's coming from Derek being selfish. Derek is not thinking about anybody but himself at this point. I think because in his mind, if he's going to be paralyzed, he's not going to be able to work his penis anymore to have any more kids. He's not going to be able to do anything. So this is his opportunity to have a child. So he wants to keep the child. Right. Having, I, I, it's like the child would become Derek's purpose in life because now he's paralyzed and has nothing else to look for or look toward. That's what I'm thinking his head is because he's not telling her. It's like for her to tell him about the pregnancy, I thought that he was going to come out and be like, babe, I'm paralyzed for all eternity. You know what I'm saying? But he doesn't. He just says, I love you, kisses her, and says, yay, we're going to have a baby. Selfish mother. Star is not at the Atlanta Next Fest just yet, so Simone gets worried. She goes to go check out Hunter's place or their place to see if Star is there. You know, she tell Alex, I'll be good. Hold on, I'll be good. Let me go see what's going on. So she knocks on the door. Hunter awakes like he was knocked out or some shit or just in a daze, kind of daze because he couldn't believe it what he just did to Star. Right. So he lets Simone in and Simone demands for him to let her know where Star is. And, you know, right away, Hunter's like, you're the crazy one. You're just like your sister, blah, 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 blah. And then strangles her up, like pins her up against the wall and then throws her to the ground. And I'm like, damn, he really like threw this chick. But then Simone gets a backbone by the, by the grace of him. Thank him. And busts him in his kneecap and then knocks him out in the face and he goes looking for Star. She finds Star. They exit the building or attempt to exit the building and then Star is just like, no, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. I need to, I need to take care of some things. I need to handle this real quick. So hold on. So she goes and grabs the crowbar. She says, Simone, give me his hand. Right. And then she goes and bang on the throwing hand. No more. No more. And I need every female to take a little page out of Star's book. This is how you handle mothers that bother you with the fists. You know what I'm saying? And not with the words. You know, no one in love should ever put their hand on a loved one. That's not the definition of love. That's the definition of hate and crazy. And love does not exist in the mix of all of that. So if you are in a physically abusive relationship, it's not love. It's captivity. It's imprisonment. It's hell on earth. Right. Run. and Get away from that as fast as you can. Big Boy decides to dump the girls for Ava because Ava is Latin and the Latin thing is Zen. Okay. Carlotta is sitting in the background watching these girls have this epiphany about how they got to where they are and the fact that it's the three of them that made it this far. That rhymed. Yeah, that did. Um, so it's not, you know, a high yield thing. It's not a big boy thing. It's them. It's a them thing. So I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I'm really liking this a lot, actually. So the girls perform, and I have to tell you that this is the best female group in a long 
time. They really give me Destiny Child vibes. They give me TLC vibes. But this girl group is unlike any of them, but is on a whole new level, way up in the stratosphere. The fact that these females are extraordinary actresses, yes they are, and the ability for them to be able to sing and dance I mean, it's how often do we see something like this? Especially on a regular TV series. We don't. We don't see anything like this. And I've always wondered to myself, why can't we blend the creative lines? Why can't actors become performers and performers be actors? Why can't, when we do biopics for Aaliyah, we put somebody in, a, in the role that can actually sing and dance? Like, you know what I'm saying? Why don't we, why don't we do this? Like, this and you know what? One thing I've always wanted artists to do is to create a body of work. And, and you know, shout out to Beyonce because she pretty much did this. But I've always envisioned an artist having a video for every single song. But to have it play like a full length movie. Not a collection of different video shoots or different video sets, but a full length movie that had a video that was pretty much a video for every song on an album. I'm waiting for someone to do that. I think it could definitely be done. Beyonce pretty much has accomplished that, but Beyonce's videos do not play I mean they they I mean but I'm talking about full acting and yeah, like a musical, but like a full not like, no, I'm not trying to say La La Land. Y'all know what the hell I'm talking about. It's not about what you got, but it's all about what you do. And that message couldn't ring more true for your boy here. So, I, I, I mean, there's nothing else to say. I mean, I, I loved that song. It was, it was amazing. The girls end up winning their million dollar contract. They have won officially Atlanta's Nets Fest, and I am excited. Their reaction was a bit lukewarm, I guess, because they had been through so much that they really didn't think that it would be possible. But you girls floored Glamour and all of the other acts, although we didn't see them. And although Glamour is a real group, I love Glamour. I think they're amazing. But, you know, for this, we're going to stick with Big Trouble, which, by the way, they need to change that name. And I'm glad Carlotta is going to manage them and want to change the name because Carlotta really has her head on straight and really cares about these girls. Shout out to, you know, Cotton getting arrested for grand theft right before she can get her wee wee. I mean, it's jacked up, but I mean, what are you going to do? You shouldn't have did it. So at the end of the day, shout out to, to, to Jocelyn Hernandez for stealing the money. That was fucked up. Like, I really would have rather, I would have, I would have loved to have seen Cotton go after Jocelyn Hernandez versus steal that dude's money. I don't know. I just think that was terrible. That was wrong. And um, un obviously unlawful. And then we get to the part where Hunter is fucking Ava. And I'm like, this is disgusting. But whatever. He's getting his rocks off. And he gets shot from the back. And Ava dies too. I'm sorry, but I'm excited about this. I don't know if anybody else is, but I am. I'm excited about the two of them dying. They're bad people. They're bad, bad people. They deserved what happened to them. Let me know your thoughts about this particular episode. I'm so glad that Star has been renewed for season two. Lee Daniels, if you're watching this review, you need to have me on TV. I can be an extra. Yes, indeed. Anyway, all, all of that just rhymed. Did you not hear all of that? Anyways, guys, let me know if you hear of any acting gigs or whatever in the area. If you're in Atlanta, holla at your boy for photography, photo shoots. Go to WesleyHPhotos.com to check out my work. And, um, yeah. Yeah. Send this video to Lee Daniels, okay? Lee Daniels, alright? I have a fake, alright? And I think that I can do something on camera. Like, really, I, I really think that I could actually accomplish a lot on TV. So, definitely, definitely hit up me, Wesley. And that rhymed again! That rhymed again! So anyways, let me know guys, send this video to Lee Daniels and I love y'all. Comment, like, share, and all that good shit. Deuces!